Lee, a uh, defeat here at Agra, which uh, confirms relegation for the Poppies. A uh, good first half followed by uh, three goals from Kidderminster in the second half. Um, just, talk, just talk me through what you're feeling at the moment. Well, at half time, we're in a good position. We spoke about um, well, one of the wing backs crossing it. They try to get the far wing back in on the back stick. And uh, we go out. The, the three mistakes for the goal are very, very simple. We're in possession, give a poor pass back and kick it out of play. Uh, we don't get tight enough to the cross. And then he gets the crosses on the back stick. So one minute 30 into the second half, you give yourself a mountain to climb. Um, and then the other two look, one of them looked like a tremendous strike, I think the second. The third one, I, I've not got a great view of that one, but we've got four people on the pitch trying to attack, so there is going to be spaces in midfield. You uh, changed the formation to pretty much mirror what Kidderminster were doing. Um, that worked quite well for the first 45, didn't it? Well, it worked well. We'd have been happy to sit with it at that, but when they score and then it's got to change, we need to get up the pitch and score, but really, look, we've been relegated here. We haven't re been relegated on today. We've been relegated because our away form's not been good enough all season. The lads are, quite a few of them are in tears, young boys, you know, probably feeling the way I feel, I'm absolutely gutted. Um, and it's something that, you know, we've been in a position to get safe, I think, for five or six weeks and haven't been able to do it. You know, I'm on about pre the pre lemington game. Um, probably ain't kept enough clean sheets, certainly away from home, and haven't took a lot of the chances we've created. We have created quite a few chances. I'm thinking of some of the games that were tight at home, but every club will say that. We probably, I don't think we've been good enough in both boxes all season, and that's that's the the nail on the head. Um, you know, when they get the third goal, we, you know, we're chasing the game. It becomes a bit of a lottery then. But um, yeah, I think I think over the season the away forms killed us. Obviously, at the start of this season, you had a, a job on your hands coming into a to a team with very few players available when you uh, took over. We've got to the end of the season with a, with a squad of uh, sort of 18, 19. What, what's next? Well, what's next is quite simply the, the, the seeds for what's happened here were sown last uh, May, you know. For whatever reason, um, a team hovering around the playoffs and, you know, the, the manager at the time wanted to go to another club and he spoke to one club and then he ended up going to another and uh, that was earlier in the season. And then, Another manager comes in, uh, different reasons, probably wanted to move on, but there is some fundamental reasons that have to be addressed at the football club and there's no getting away from that. Um, I'm talking about on and off the pitch, the, the infrastructure at the club and different things is really does need to be addressed. And, um, you know, Richie, does an absolutely magnificent job for this football club and I don't there should be no criticism of him at all because he virtually keeps this club going and I've seen it um, but there's other areas where people are you know voluntary and do a great job but it does need someone to sort of shine a light on various aspects of it and I think move it up to where the National League North is because there's some aspects where and the other two managers previous to me have said this a similar thing, that things do uh, need to uh, be addressed. Finally, um, just under 300 travelling fans from the Poppies, obviously with staff and, um, and volunteers like ourselves, we'll probably make it up about 300, uh, everyone here in Poppies colours. Um, what have you got to say to them who have come today and, uh, and obviously will go home disappointed but travelled in great numbers? Oh, absolutely gutted for them. Absolutely gutted. We knew we'd be a, have a good following here. We probably didn't think as much as that. Our, our away following has been excellent all season. There's a group of older gentlemen I spoke about earlier on this season. There's a group of young lads that follow the club everywhere. I'm absolutely gutted for them. Absolutely gutted. And, um, you know, they deserve better. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gutted, absolutely gutted. And the attendance is at home over the last month or two have been excellent and they've given us a great support but I'm absolutely gutted for the people that travelled today and you see the way they were that's all, you know when we went over there at the end that's why four or five of the players are in tears and everyone's gutted Lee thank you commiserations and uh, we'll uh, have a bus ride back now yeah. cheers yeah.